going on everybody? I'm Joey Hagan. This is Stingray Outdoors. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your own beef jerky. Um, this is a top round uh, piece of beef. You can use top round, bottom round, romp rows. Top round and the bottom round hold the most flavor and they are a more lean meat. So you, unless you like really fatty meat, really fatty kind of beef jerky pieces, um, I wouldn't recommend using rump, or rump roast because uh, it is fattier. Um, this is supposed to be a more uh, lean beef and it is, it's got some fat through it, but it's, I mean, for the most part, it's a pretty lean piece of piece of meat. So we're gonna use this to do this video. This is top, top round. Um, now, depending on how thick you cut it is how long uh, you're gonna have to dehydrate it. So we're gonna, we're gonna slice these up um, I'm using the Danko 7 inch fillet knife um, to do this. I haven't used it to cut meat. I used it in my uh, how to fillet a trout or clean and cook a trout video, um, which was my last video. Um, haven't done it for anything like this. So we'll see how it works. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cut this thin and then we're gonna marinate it um, probably for about four hours. All right, you want them all to be even pieces because you're gonna have it all in the dehydrator and you want them to finish up about the same time. So we're probably gonna do pieces about, about that thick. Like I said, I've never used this knife for beef before, and it's it's really sharp. It, I usually uh, the last set of knives I have weren't that great, and it took forever, and it was all butchered up because it did not slice well at all. These are nice thin slices. <laughs> I just finished up slicing all the meat. Uh, this is how it turned out. Nice, really thin slices of meat. Uh, and that's actually all the fat, the excess fat that we were left with. Obviously there's it's a little bit of fat in some of these, uh, you know, just on there, but uh, that's the only excess fat. So this was the top round. Um, I would recommend it for beef jerky because there's not a lot of fat on it. So, um, you don't have a lot of basically wasted meat. Um, and that's the first time I've used uh, the Danko on on meat like this. Uh, it, it was great. I mean, like I said, just nice, thin, even slices, uh, literally sliced through like butter. Anyway, so I wound up finding out about Danko knives um, just from all the reviews I had heard on it. And so I went to check for myself, look at the reviews, and the reviews were really good. So I went online uh, to try to buy uh, or try to yeah look into buying a set of knives and they were like 20 25 dollar knives um is the average price for all their fully knives and i was like there's no way like that's what i paid for my last set of knives it was just awful and that's why i'm trying to find a good set of knives um so i really uh i really couldn't like i can't believe how good they work honestly for for what the price is um so if you're looking into buying a new set of knives i would highly recommend them because i mean they're they're so affordable and they work great and i'm sorry i keep talking about Danko knives in all my videos but like really i'm just i'm so excited i'm still so excited um, i waited on them for a while and um i just can't believe how affordable they are and how well they work um i mean there's really just no need to spend you know all that money on high dollar knives when these perform the exact same also um, if you guys want me to do a Danko knife giveaway, uh, let me know in the comments, like this video and let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to be doing some, uh, merchandise giveaways here soon. Um, I'm planning on getting some hats made. Um, but let me know if you want me to do a, a Danko knife giveaway as well and who would want a Danko knife, um, for their sell. Um, and maybe that's something I can throw in there. So like I said, like and share the video. Let me know in the comments if that's something you want to, uh, want me to do and maybe I'll do it. Maybe you'll get yourself a free day. Alright y'all, now we're going to start the marinade. 
Uh, we're gonna start with the, this is Bragg's Amino, or Liquid Aminos. Um, it's basically like soy sauce, but it's the healthier version of it. I'm gonna do basically till, probably that's about halfway covering the meat. Which it'll use the rest of it, so. That's about right. All right, we're gonna use uh, Worcestershire sauce. Try to coat the top of the meat with that. We're gonna mix it all together anyway, but. All right, this is uh, liquid smoke. It's the uh, hickory smoke. You don't need a lot of that. A little bit goes a long way. All right, and this is uh, McCormick's Montreal Steak Seasoning. Um, this has all sorts of different sp uh, spices in it. It has coarse sea salt, black pepper, red pepper, garlic, onion, sunflower oil, uh, paprika. This is actually one of my favorite seasonings that there is. Um, it's really good on steak, but I also use it for beef turkey. Um, and then a little bit of red, uh, crushed red pepper flakes. I won't add too much because my wife does not like spice. All right, we're gonna mix all that up so it's covering it all. All right, you wanna mix that up and then uh, you'll stick it in the fridge. Um, I'm probably gonna let it marinate uh, in, that, uh, in the juice and the seasonings for about three to four hours. Um, and then we'll get it on the dehydrator. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, the uh, beef turkey's done marinating. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it on this uh, dehydrator. You wanna space it out evenly. Um, don't let any of the pieces touch. You want it to be able to, uh, the air to be able to circulate and dehydrate that really good. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start that um, and then I'll probably do a time lapse for that uh, just to show you guys how it's set up uh, and then we'll start dehydrating and then it should take about five hours um, total uh, on the dehydrator uh, about 160 degrees so if you have one that has to where you can adjust the temperature setting it's 160 degrees is what you want to uh, dehydrate the beef jerky at. All right, y'all, now for the dehydrating. Um, as you can see, I've put mine through a beating. Um, I love dehydrating stuff. Um, I've dehydrated uh, bananas, made banana chips. Um, I love dehydrating, making my own jerky. Um, I made all sorts of jerkies, turkey jerky, salmon jerky, beef jerky. Um, everyone voted on beef jerky this time, but if you want to see me do another kind of jerky, I can do literally anything. I'll try to find it. Uh, whether it be lamb jerky or swordfish jerky or literally anything, you can de dehydrate anything. Um, I love making my own jerky because it's one of my favorite snacks, if not my favorite snack. It's full of protein, it's delicious, um, and I don't have to buy it in the store where it's three times more expensive than it is to be able to make it. Um, and the marinade I did, you don't have to use that marinade. You can look up recipes online for different jerky marinades. Um, this is the one that I personally like. I've done lemon pepper marinades in the past, and those are good. Um, but this is the one that I personally like. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and plug this in, get it started. All right, and like I said, it's going to take about five hours to completely uh, dehydrate. Um, it could take uh, longer, and it may not take as long. Um, it really just depends on the conditions, if you, like how thinly or thick you sliced it. 
Um, it's really just different. Uh, the, the type of dehydrator you're using, the temperature, um, it really just has a lot of different variables. So what I would do is go ahead and if you're making this, check it at four hours. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll make another video at four hours, show you guys if it's done, if it's not, I'll show you what it looks like and about how much longer I think it's gonna take. Um, if it's not done, I'll check it again at five hours. Um, and if it's not done then, I'll check it at five and a half, six hours, somewhere around there. Um, but typically between four and six hours is what it takes to completely marinate, uh, or sorry, dehydrate uh, beef jerky. So like I said, I'll, I'll make another video in four hours uh, check on the jerky, see how, how it's coming, and then I'll see you guys in. All right, guys, so it's been four hours. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check on the beef jerky. I'm gonna get a thin one and a thick one uh, because usually the thin ones are done about this time and the thick ones still have about an hour to go. So yeah, so this is a thin one and it's perfect. It's perfect texture really good flavor um, this is a thicker one this is one of the thickest cuts so it definitely still has it, it probably needs about another hour hour and a half uh, so we'll give that we'll give that probably about another hour hour and a half what I'm gonna do though I'm gonna get this so they don't get too crispy because these are perfect I'm going to take all the all the thin ones that are done and uh, get them into a Ziploc bag um, just so they don't get too overdone while the thicker ones are still uh, dehydrating. Like I said, probably about another hour, hour and a half and they all should be done. All right, so it's been five and a half hours. Uh, I just let it go a little longer just to make sure it was done. And it is, it's again, perfect texture, really good flavor. Um, so all the beef jerky is done. So at, at around four hours, all the uh, the thinner pieces or the smaller pieces that didn't need as long were done. I let the uh, the thicker pieces or the bigger pieces sit for about another hour and a half, so about five and a half hours uh, total, and they're all done. So like I said, if you're making beef jerky, between four to six hours, just check it as you go. Um, but somewhere around there, uh, they should be done. And like I said, these are very, very, very flavorful. Better than store-bought it's way cheaper so if you're gonna make your own beef jerky I highly recommend it um, and like I said if you want to like look up other marinades um, you can but this one's a very very flavorful marinade and I'd highly recommend it hey babe you want to try my jerky Vince you want a piece Is it? Mm-hmm. You like the flavor? Yeah, it's really flavorful. What about the texture? Good. Good. What do you think, Vince? Mm, good. Good? You like how it tastes? What's it taste like? It has a bunch of flavor. A bunch of flavor? Flavor. What kind of flavors? I think it's meat. Yeah? It's beef jerky. You like it? You want to take some to school tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> She's helping my son with his schoolwork. All the craziness of Corona. I'm sure everybody knows about that. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. I hope if you ever have the opportunity to make your own beef jerky, uh, at least now you'll know how. Also, don't forget about the giveaways. I'm gonna be doing some hat giveaways. They're gonna have my logo on them. They're being made. Uh, I'll have more information on how that's all gonna go probably sometime this week. Uh, and then the Deco Knife giveaway. Uh, I would love to do that. Um, I actually hadn't even planned to do it until halfway through this video. I was using it. I was like, man, it'd be sweet to give someone one of these knives just to have a good knife like in the kitchen or outdoors or for fishing or whatever the need may be. It'd be cool to give someone one of those knives if y'all are interested. So let me know in the comments uh, if you think uh, I should do one of those giveaways and I'd be 100% down to do it. I just, you know, if I get good feedback on it, I'll definitely do it. Uh, and then later on down the road, um, I, I plan on, I'm looking into having some shirts made, maybe do some shirt giveaways. So we just have a lot of ideas, uh, honestly, for the channel. Uh, and, and let me know y'all's ideas. Let me know what you want to see. I'm really down to do anything if it's family friendly. Uh, I, I mean, I'm down to try to cook anything, uh, even weird stuff or like, like stuff I'm not familiar with, like from different countries. Uh, 
100% down. And I'll try anything. Uh, I'll try octopus. I mean, I've tried octopus before, but I'll try weird stuff that like, you know, like snails. I really, I don't care. Um, I'm down to try anything, at least once. I may not do it twice, but I'm down to try it once. Uh, so yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Uh, maybe plan a fishing trip, uh, go deep sea fishing, uh, maybe try to do a hunting trip, um, you know, other kind of jerkies or dehydrated stuff. Really, I'm down to do anything. Just let me know uh, what you guys want to see and I'll try to get it done as best I can. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like we always say on this channel, life's too short spending indoors. So just get out there and live your life. Uh, and I really hope to see you on the, on the next video. Oh, that's cute. You look like a dog. All right, y'all, now for the... <laughs> huh? Can you have another beef jerky? Let's do one more. Sure. Up on the counter. Definitely gonna be doing the hat giveaways. They're gonna have my logo on them. Uh, this is not it. Uh, I haven't made them yet. Also, oh. also, don't forget about the dang hits. Uh.